Hello everyone and welcome to another What I Eat in a Day on WW. Today I'm starting my day as I typically do with coffee and I am having a McAfee K-Cup today. As I have been saying, we've been trying to use the carafe side of our Keurig more and we have, but again, I'm just making coffee for myself this morning. So I'm just gonna use a K-Cup. There's my little Bella saying good morning and also my Rocky. My husband's already fed them this morning, but a lot of times they will come over and kind of beg and hope that I will give them a treat in the mornings. So that's what they're doing there. And it worked. They got themselves a treat because they're cute and they're being good little puppies. But back to my coffee. Here it is brewed and I'm gonna add in a little bit of the zero sugar Italian sweet cream. Coffee mate, coffee creamer. This stuff is zero points if you just use a tablespoon. So that's what I always do. I always just use a tablespoon, measure it out so I don't go over because it's really easy to use way too much of this stuff if you don't measure it out. So and even there, <laughs> I had a little extra. But that is gonna be zero points. Along with my coffee, I'm having my water. I don't have my hydro flask that I typically do because I'm washing it, but I am still having water. I try to drink a half gallon to a gallon of water a day. I don't always get that done, but that's kind of what I aim for. So there's my coffee and water. And like I said, zero points. I will be back for lunch and see you then. For lunch today, I went ahead and made up some guacamole, which I'll show you here. That right there. Um, I didn't show making it. I have a separate video on this. This is Chipotle copycat guacamole. It's very good. And for me, since avocados are zero points, this is zero points for me. So I made up a batch of that. And to dip it with, I'm gonna be making up some tortilla chips in the air fryer. I've got just a few of these tortillas left. These are the Pueblo Lindo ones I get from Aldi. Um, and I wanna use them up because they're about to date. So I'm gonna be making up some chips. And for lunch, I'm just gonna be doing two of these up to make chips out of, because I don't wanna have a whole bunch so that I don't go over my points. So I'll show you how I make these real quick. I have shown these before in a video. Very easy and pretty good, and they make a nice low point tortilla chip. So I take two of these and I just spritz them with a little olive oil on each side. And two of these is three points. So then take a little bit of salt, sprinkle that on, and then I stack them on top of each other and then I just cut them in eighths. Like that. Then in my air fryer, I just kind of toss those in there and that's what they look like. I don't lay them in there nicely or anything because they just blow around anyway. And I have found for my air fryer that 375 at about three and a half minutes is about perfect for mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook these at 375 for three and a half minutes and then I will show you what they look like when they're done. And then while those are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and do up the rest of my lunch. Um, I'm gonna just have a bagel sandwich and this is just one of the air fryer bagels that I love to make. I make these all the time. A lot of times I'll make a bunch up and then freeze them. But I do have a video on these. I will link that up above and down below if you haven't seen it. So I'm gonna just take one of these and slice it in half. And these bagels are, you can hear those chips blowing around in there. These bagels are four points a piece for me. So on top of that, I'm gonna spread one of these creamy pepper jack cheeses. I like to use these instead of mayonnaise basically a lot of times. They're really good, tastes really good. And they are only a point. And then I'm also gonna add some of this deli ham, just a serving of it, which is a point. And my chips are done. I just stopped the air fryer, I'll show you here in a second what those look like after I get this done. So again, this is a point for a serving, which is three slices roughly. So I'm gonna put three pieces on. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of mustard. 
And that is all I'm gonna put on this one today. So four points for the bagel, one for the cheese wedge, and then one for the ham. It's gonna make it six points for my bagel. And here's the chips. They are not super crispy when they come out, but they will continue to crisp up once they cool. So I'll go ahead and pour these on my plate. And that is three points for those. And then I'll get myself some guacamole. And since I don't have to count points for this, I'm not gonna measure it out. I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. Probably about four tablespoons or so. Maybe a little less. But again, zero points for that. And then I'm gonna have a banana for zero points. And then one of these Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Major Melon. These came back out and I was happy to see them. They're very, very good if you like Diet Mountain Dew. This is watermelon flavored and it's, it's really tasty. So zero points for that. So all together, again, six points for my sandwich, three points for my chips, zero for my guacamole, zero for the banana and the Mountain Dew, which is going to make my total for lunch nine points, which is a little high. Um, so I'll have to make sure my <laughs> dinner is not super high tonight. But that is my lunch today for nine points. For our snack today, I am keeping it really simple and zero points because I used so many points on my lunch. So I'm just having, and sorry about my dog, he's shaking over there if you hear that weird noise. I'm having a Honeycrisp apple, zero points, and I'm gonna have a couple of these boiled eggs for zero points because eggs are zero for me. And then over here, I'm just having a little bit of peppermint tea, which is also zero points because there's nothing in it. So my snack total for today is zero points. For dinner tonight, I thought I would continue on using up my tortillas. I've only got a few left. So what I'm gonna be making tonight are just kind of some quick and easy bean and cheese tortillas. I'm gonna be doing them in the air fryer, so I'm gonna just be doing two at a time. And I'll probably do them all a little bit differently depending on who I'm making them for, but I'll just show you how I'm gonna be making mine. So I'm gonna start off with two of those tortillas and I'm gonna spritz them each with a little bit of olive oil. And then in my air fryer, I'm gonna put them in there and I'm gonna just cook them for probably just a minute or two. And there they are in there. And again, you can only get two at a time in there. You could do these in the oven if you want, but I really like how they taste in the air fryer. So I'm gonna cook these for a couple minutes on 400 just to get them starting to crisp up before I put the toppings on. So I'll do that and then be back. All right, I let those cook in there for about a minute and a half, two minutes, just to get, like I said, a slight little crisp on them so that when I put my toppings on, it doesn't go all soggy. So now, here, I've got a can of refried beans, fat-free refried beans, and I'm gonna put a little bit of these on each one. Now the tortillas are two for three points for me, and then the beans are zero points. So I'm not really gonna measure my beans, but I would say it's probably about a quarter cup that I'm putting on each one of these. I'm gonna just kind of spread that out evenly on here. Okay, now next up, I'm gonna put a quarter cup of this Mexican style shredded cheese on here. So a quarter cup total, I'm gonna just evenly put this on between the two. And then that's all I'm gonna put on these. And the cheese, by the way, is three points total. Um, you could put different meat on this, chicken, beef, whatever. I don't have any of that right now on hand, but I have put that on before. I'm just going super simple with these today. And actually my son likes them like this, just really plain. So we're just doing bean and cheese, but again, you could do meat if you want. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm going to lay them back in my air fryer and I'm gonna cook them for another couple minutes 
until the cheese is nice and melted and those beans are heated through. And again, I'm doing 400 for a temp on that. And here's what they're looking at three minutes, which I think looks good. So I'm gonna take them out and then I will go ahead and top them with what I'm gonna put on. I've got some lettuce that I need to use up too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit of that on each one of these. Add a little bit of salsa. No points for either the salsa or the lettuce. A little bit of fat-free Greek yogurt, which is also zero points for me. And then I'm gonna add some more of my guacamole that I did up earlier. Again, zero points for me. And then finally, I'm just gonna add a little bit of extra cilantro to the top. And that is dinner. So two of those with the bean and cheese is gonna be six points for me. All the toppings that I added to this were zero points, so that's not gonna add anything topping wise. So dinner for me tonight is six points. For dessert, I am keeping it zero points too, just because I think I have one point left and there's not a whole lot that I can think of dessert wise that I can eat for a point and I don't really want to go over because as I've said before I like to kind of save my points any of my extra weeklies or my uh, exercise points for the weekends when I don't really count points so I want to stay at or under so I'm gonna have some frozen mixed berries here these are really good they really do hit the spot when you have a sweet tooth and they are zero points. So that is gonna be all I have for the rest of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.